I agree with it. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Orange juice is not better than apple juice. Word goes around, if you sleep with socks on, you're a psychopath. Young boy is overrated. I will argue with y'all in the comments. I will definitely do that. Your mom's only son is the best looking child. I disagree. I'm the best looking child. <laughs> Aloha humans, it's Simply C back at it with another YouTube video. <laughs> Yeah, first of all, I don't even know where to start this video, but I guess we're gonna start it there. It's, it's been a little bit of a minute, just a little bit. Make sure you follow all my social medias that will either be on the screen or in the description box below. Yes, I already know what this video is about by the thumbnail and the title. This is just like me basically responding to your unpopular opinions and stating my unpopular opinions. I guess that's it. Uh, I don't even know how this might affect people because it's just like, but I have wrote um, all of them down. I'm kind of nervous, like, I don't know. <laughs> Other thing, these are just my opinions and you guys' opinions, so I am not entitled to bash you guys for any of your opinions that you guys state here. I'm just responding to them how I feel. And you guys are not entitled to bash me for my opinions. Okay, so I wrote them all down. I think I said that already. Okay, so. Okay, so first I will be responding to you guys' opinions and here's the first one. Oreos are disgusting. I don't, I disagree. Only because like, how can you hate Oreos? Like, I remember hating like the cookie of the Oreo, but like the cream, it's basically like cookies and cream. Like, how can you hate cookies and cream? Like, you hate cookies and cream ice cream because that's basically Oreos. That's why I was just like, I don't have, have much to say about that only because it's just like, Oreos are Oreos, Oreos are good. Vanilla is better than chocolate. Now see, this is very talked about. I don't even know if this is an unpopular opinion, but it's very popular. People around the world believe that vanilla is definitely more better than chocolate. Um, now see, do I agree with it? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I only say I don't agree with it because like, I like chocolate and vanilla, but it's just like, chocolate is so underrated. Like nobody talks about chocolate and chocolate is good. Like vanilla is too, but it's just like, like I just feel as though chocolate Chocolate has some type of better qualities than vanilla. But yes, vanilla is definitely good, but if I did have to choose between both, I would choose chocolate. That's when my family asks what I want for like maybe a cake or like ice cream, I always say chocolate and then they look at me like I'm stupid or something because it's just like, why chocolate? But like, I like chocolate and it's just like, chocolate is not talked about and I'm so mad about it, so like, School is fun and math is fun when you know what you're doing. I kind of combine those two because school. But um, school is not fun at all. I say school overall is fun. If you're a smart, no, I want to say if you're a smart kid because you know, you, you could be a smart kid and totally hate school and think school is horrible. But I just feel as though if I was to know what I was doing in every single class I went to, I feel like I would like school. The only reason why I like school a little bit is, and why I think it's fun, is my friends. And I barely have any of those. I'm glad school kind of over now. But like, I used to love it then because I used to see and interact with human beings. And now, I don't know what I'm gonna do in eighth grade because I only have one friend and it's just like, I don't know. School isn't fun though. And math is actually fun when you know what you're doing. That's why I was just like, bro. Other than that, I dread math because most, most of the time I barely know what I'm doing. It's pretty rare if I do know what I'm doing. This one is a weird one. I don't know if this is a joke or not, but cereal is better with water. Agree. <laughs> I mean, I can't really tell you, but if you're serious, I've never tried it before, so I can't really say, but why would cereal taste good with water? Cereal's not even supposed to go with water. It's supposed to go with milk. Let me know if y'all eat cereal with water. Okay. Lil Uzi Vert is underrated. No, he isn't. Um, I feel like he isn't overrated, but underrated. I just feel like he doesn't get put in those type of categories because it's just like, he gets the clout that he deserves, but then again, he's not overrated. So The, wor the worst rappers are overrated and the best rappers are underrated. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even. Okay, you, you put the category of rappers, so we're gonna keep it as rappers because I'm over here thinking about singers and you know everybody in the music industry. 
but we're gonna keep it at rappers since you said rappers. But yes, I do agree. If it's just rappers, then yes. I only say yes because it's just like most of the sounds that I listen to of rappers, they're either unreleased or they're released, but very underrated and don't get as much recognition. For example, Young Boy, he makes a song and it blows up and it's not even that good. That's how it's just like, y'all get what I'm trying to say? Like, I don't know how to really explain it like that, but y'all should get the point. This one is, I don't really see it as an um, unpopular opinion because this is very popular, but sleeping with socks on are very uncomfortable. Yeah, word goes around, if you sleep with socks on, you're a psychopath. And I definitely agree with that because why would you sleep with socks on? Like, I want my feet to be free. I want my feet to wiggle up in them sheets, bro. I want them to like, I want them to be free. Like, and then it's just like, it's weird when you have socks on, it's just like, don't you sweat? And it's just like, I don't like the feeling between the two cloths on my, like the socks and then the what's it called sheets like i just don't like that it, it don't mix with me oh okay this one makes me uh, a little upset but pickles are nasty pickles are not nasty first of all pickles are not nasty that's what i'm saying i don't really know how to i get where y'all coming from with that one though but like i just love the tangy taste and like the crunch like mm. and then the juice oh don't get me started on the juice no i understand how you cannot like pickles but like it's like how can you not like pickles People with disabilities are nice. Yeah, I don't, okay, I don't see it as people with disabilities are, are any less than human. And I wouldn't say all people with disabilities because people with disabilities are human. Some people with disabilities could be so mean and like just not nice, but most people, like you said, most people with disabilities are nice. Y'all trying to, y'all get what I'm trying to say? Because I'm not very well spoken. So I really hope y'all catch on because I don't, <laughs> I don't got time to be explaining nothing. I don't. I really don't. So this one kind of ties in with uh, the a few ones that I said before. Young boy is overrated, and I agree because it's just like people. Oh my goodness! When I tell you, I'm not calling nobody out. All right, I'm just saying how I feel. And young boy fans are like a cult, like anime fans. I'm not even gonna get into that because nobody said anything about anime. But anime is a cult. We just gonna leave. Anime is a cult. And so is Youngboy fans because it's, as soon as you say you don't like Youngboy, it's just, oh my goodness. Don't, and don't get an NBA Youngboy <laughs> young fan mad, bro. It just don't work out. Like, and it's just his music is not all that. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't understand the hype about him. That's just me. I don't understand the hype. And apparently the person who said it doesn't understand the hype either. And it's crazy because a lot of people actually do agree with that statement. You have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. No, I'm single. That was an assumption. These two are assumptions. The next one I'm about to say is from the same person, but they're assumptions and not really opinions. I guess they're an opinion to you. No, they're definitely assumptions, but no, I'm single. And I have big things coming from my channel that I am hiding. Well, I don't I don't know what you mean by big things, um, but I do have one thing. Uh, maybe next week or whenever I get it, uh, you guys will see. It's not really a big thing that'll benefit y'all, really. It kind of benefits y'all if y'all actually do it, but it does benefit me a lot, and I, it's big for me, and I'm so excited to do it. So I'm not gonna spoil it now, but you guys will hopefully see it in the future. Oh, okay, 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 I like this one. Different brands of water do not taste the same, and that is so true. It's like ice. If you're an ice eater, you already know what good ice is and what not good ice is like you will still eat the ice but like you know what good ice is and it's just like water how do i put this i don't know how to put this water if you get i don't know maybe water from the faucet okay no if you get water from the faucet and if you get maybe like regular water from like poland spring like just the regular water bottle them two things do not taste the same to me that that's just how I see it. So I'm saying, I haven't tried a lot of brands of water, but I can definitely say that not all of them do taste the same. So I definitely do agree on that statement. It's the same thing as ice. You should definitely catch my drift when I say that though. If you're an ice eater, for real, cause like eat ice, you definitely know what I'm talking about and you should definitely know what I'm talking about about that statement of water. Watermelon is nasty. <sighs> At least that breaks the stereotype of all black people like watermelon because not all black people like watermelon and chicken. I disagree because watermelon is just good. Like it barely tastes like anything at that too. It, it depends on what you get and what piece you take. I don't know what bad experience you had with watermelon or if you even did, you just don't like it. 
but like i just repeat because watermelon is good being toxic isn't cute or cool at all when i tell you when i tell y'all being toxic and stuff is so normalized in today's society is so crazy like i can't even talk i will be a hypocrite saying i agree because i do agree but it's just i've i've been there before so i don't know if that makes me a hypocrite or not but it definitely does wear you out i'm out of breath talking <laughs> okay but being toxic is definitely not cute or cool at all and it definitely it does wear you out if it is to a point where it's like where it's at a terrible point you get where i'm talking about um so i'm saying like it does wear you out a lot and it isn't like fun like if you try a healthy one in a relationship like yeah i definitely do uh, get where girls are coming from from the generation saying they want their men aggressive or not friendly or whatever that is understandable but toxic and if you want me to be completely honest with y'all, I used to say the exact same thing to myself saying I want a toxic relationship, but that is not something that you want. And especially at such a young age, it's just like, you just gotta learn. You can't, I can't really say much because that'll make me a hypocrite, but like, just learn. Live and you learn. That goes to higher length and higher levels you're juggling two different bowling balls here so please be careful as to what y'all say on the internet because toxic is not something that you probably want so yeah this one is a personal opinion not for me but for my brother your mom's only son is the best looking child i disagree i'm the best looking child orange juice is better than apple juice okay i've been <laughs> I've been seeing this for a long time now and I feel that's exactly why I wanted to make this video because I wanted to address this first of all because I disagree. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of breath, but <laughs> orange juice is not better than apple juice. I don't get how people can like orange juice. Like, yes, orange juice is great. Orange juice is good. It gives you vitamin C, but it leaves a weird after taste in your mouth and it's just, I don't like it. I like it, but I'll drink it if there wasn't no apple juice. But like, if we have apple juice, best believe I'm choosing that over orange juice. And then again, I don't like oranges like that. So, makes sense. Argue about it in the comments. I will definitely argue back because... <laughs> with that one, I'll definitely argue back with that one because... Why, why orange juice? That don't make no sense. I will argue back with you if you say orange juice is better than apple juice because... Okay, so that was your guys' opinions and how I responded to them. And now I'm going to state my unpopular opinions. I'll argue in comments. I will argue back because I definitely agree with all of these that I have wrote down. I will argue with y'all in the comments. I will definitely do that. But really, don't come at me and unsubscribe because it's, it's really not that serious. It's just what I believe. TikTok is honestly toxic because it's just like... Let's say if you have the courage to post something that made you feel good. Okay, wait. Topic. We're going to put maybe body positivity. Maybe you have a nice cute um, bathing suit on and you have the confidence to post it on TikTok and it gets on the you page and then uh, thousands of people see it. And, and it's crazy because when people post things like that, it's like you're expected to get or to get or see comments like, oh, she's this or she's that. Like... Why is that expected in TikTok comments? Like, that should not be expected when you open it. And then it'd it be at the top, which means it's the most liked one, which means more people agree. So it's just like, why? <laughs> like, you know, y'all get what I'm saying? If you have nothing nice to say, keep it pushing. TikTok even has a feature where you could say, I am not interested in what you're seeing. Like, you do not have to comment none of that other stuff because it's never that serious just say you're not interested or keep it pushing but you know people always gotta put their two cents in so it don't even matter <laughs> okay so i did have a lot more to say in this video but i didn't want the video to be so long and i have to do so much editing because your girl's over here lazy but i'm going to cut this video short and yeah to the intro okay yeah that was definitely all i have for today i really hope y'all enjoyed this video i will definitely be coming back with more in the future make sure i follow all my social media that will either be on the screen or in the de uh, description box below i hope you guys enjoyed this video bye <laughs>